Hey guys, Jesse V6 JTW. So I've had a few requests in the last couple days, couple weeks, uh, to show what kind of gear I'm using, and so I figured I got nothing better to do today. So go ahead and we'll uh, we'll make a little video, to show you my gear, ten essentials, kind of roughly. Um, yeah, I don't have a studio, so the lighting sucks. It's in my basement. You can hear the laundry machine going. It's definitely not the tidiest basement, but what do you do when you're busier than heck? Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and uh, let's get at her. Alright guys, so I don't really know where to start, so we'll just go from left to right. So first, my pack that I use is a uh, Arteryx Alpha AR35. It's tons of room in it, lots of pouches. It's quite water resistant. It was pouring rain on us yesterday on Saskatchewan and it didn't uh, it didn't get anything inside wet, so it's really nice. This is my little throw weight. It's, uh, it's a nice little pack. Fits nice, holds the weight good. It's um, not the cheapest, but it's... Uh, it does the job. Uh, next thing I take with me is I got these energy chews. They got caffeine in them from Cliff. Um, I don't know what else to say. They're a little pricey, but uh, when you get up to the top of the summit and you're kind of lacking that energy, they really help. Also got uh, these tabs. They're uh, electrolyte tablets. Just in case. You never know. They work pretty good. And I carry some granola bars and stuff with me. This is probably... More getting into the 10 essential stuff. I've got some granola bars, some food to eat. Um, I carry, what is that, two and a half liters of water with me when I go up. I just clip this guy, the small guy, onto my pack here. And uh, this guy sits inside my pack. Um, inside this, this is going to be my medical kit. It's got band aids, triangle bandage, um, antiseptic wipes. I got some Advil in there, some Tylenol. Uh, what else is in there? Um, striker, and start fire. Um, I think that's about it. Any of the medical stuff I'll need is in there. I know I put it in there. So um, I got my bear spray because up here, just everywhere you go is bear country, uh, cougar country. So you need to have that just in case. Um, navigation. So I always carry a compass with me, even though I normally just use my phone. But uh, the compass is always a good backup. Always have it. Went through a compass crash course with Malin about a month ago, just to refresh myself on how to use it. I also carry a headlamp with me all the time. Never leave without it. Um, I also have a uh, Spot GPS Gen 4. Um, with this thing, it's a $25 a month subscription, and it's got the SOS button. So if you hit this button. You've got search and rescue, law enforcement, they're all coming for you. Um, this one here, you hit if you need help, but you don't need emergency help. So it'll, it'll send a text message to all the people that you program in with your coordinates and everything. Um, this is a pre-programmed message as well, this button here. I guess I should zoom in there. This button here is pre-programmed, so you can send, it'll send a message to whoever you set, uh, set it up to send to this is a gps track so you can i have that set it'll uh, basically sends a, a tracking update every two minutes and then it update uploads it onto the internet so people can follow if you give them the link and i can't remember what that one is i think that's another pre-programmed message that you can send out as well it's pretty light it's not super heavy it's pretty heavy duty though and it's waterproof comes with the clip again that's i think this thing was 140 bucks and then 25 bucks a month to have it running all the time um bear spray i don't know if any of you guys are wondering but bear spray costs about 50 bucks a can it's not super cheap but it lasts quite a while uh next got my hiking poles they're amazon specials uh there's nothing special about them they do the job they're light they haven't collapsed or broke on me yet so this is the one that you uh, you see in the videos. You'll see the handle of it. 
Okay, next up is my uh, Helicon Rain Poncho. I was using this yesterday to cover myself up. It's great. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Um, I'll put the link down below in the comments to the website. It worked great. It's yeah, it's super lightweight. It doesn't weigh a whole ton, but and it's worth having. Uh, one of the guys I hike with, Riley, he uh, he used this exact poncho. Not this exact one, but his um, his girlfriend's or now fiance. Congrats, guys. Um, was starting to get hypothermia on a mountain, and he got her in this and got her off the mountain and managed to get her warmed up. Uh, this guy here is my puff jacket. It's, uh, it's an ultralight down jacket that I can pull out when I'm on summit, keep me warm. It weighs literally nothing. Like yeah, it, it weighs less than this. Um, so that's always a good thing to have up on the summits. It gets real windy and now about this time of the year, the snow can happen anytime when you get up high. Uh, next thing I got here is my, uh, my summit gear, uh, super light, super light, super light, super light. Anyway, it's a bothy bag. It's basically an emergency shelter for rain, snow, wind, you name it. You can whip this bad boy out, jump inside of it and it'll help you, uh, help with um, temperature loss, uh, keep you dry, you know, it's worth it. It's worth its weight in gold. Definitely an emergency shelter that you can get away with not adding too much weight to your bag. I'll be doing a video on this guy eventually. I just, I don't want to pull it out and try and, pack, you know how it is pulling things out of little packages and then trying to stuff it back in. It's just a pain in the butt, but you watch YouTube videos, you literally pull it out, throw it over yourself. And that's that. So, uh, yeah, next, yes, we'll go into the pole here. This is a 7.2 meter, um, fiberglass mast that I got off Amazon. It wasn't expensive at all. Um, taped up the bottom of it so it doesn't come out, put some, uh, is that silicone tape or whatever on there? And it holds it into my backpack. I hook it into this little latch here and it hooks up there and just dangles off. It's really nice. It's lightweight. I just, uh, I lashed on three loops and then used some, uh, rubber cement to, uh, stick it on there. It won't come off and then put a hole in there so I don't lose the lid. And then we just got a little fishing eyelet on the tip of that. I don't know if you can see that very well. Focus. A little fishing eyelet and a little carabiner on there. Works fantastic. Hasn't broke yet and, uh, I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Do, do, do. All right. And then in this little Ziploc bag here, I've got uh, this little Ziploc bag here is uh, some tent pegs, some metal tent pegs, uh, the guy rope, and then those pink guys there just to, I've got like a fence post or a little tree or something there. I can just lash the, uh, Flash the pole onto the tree and call her good. Um, so, get to the meat and potatoes of it all. Poop tickets. Can't leave home without them. Just in case you never know and nobody wants to wipe their butt with a leaf or you never know, poison ivy is out there. I've heard of it happening. So, toilet paper, always bring it with. All right, now the actual meat and potatoes. This right here is my, let's see if I can get more of the delay here. This is my ICOM IC V86, two meter, seven watt handheld. This thing got drenched yesterday, connected to my, or hooked up to my backpack. Works fine. Took the battery out of it overnight, let it dry out. No issues whatsoever. It's got the, uh, what is that? The Diamond RH77CA antenna on it. Got rid of that rubber duck and it's got a little rat tail on it. This radio's phenomenal. It's a BNC connector for the antenna. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a great radio. I've made some fantastic contacts on it as well as the uh, diamond, um, the diamond antenna there. I've got the MFJ long ranger and this guy extends quite large. Um, He's probably almost 
two and a half feet, three feet fully extended. We hooked it up to an analyzer and got it so it's, I know where to open it up to so it's tuned. It works great. If you can find these and you got a BNC, get one. They're fantastic. A little pricey, but worth it. I made contacts almost 70, 80 kilometers away with that guy. And then on top of that, so all my antennas are made by Mainland V6 VID for the most part. And this here, I don't know if you can see it properly in there, is a arrow shaft Yagi for two meters. It works great. My longest contact with that's about 110 kilometers away. I've only used it twice, but it's, I, I, I love it. It's fantastic. It's just a bit of a pain in the butt sometimes to slap it all together. But once you do, it's, it's a monster. It's phenomenal. Um, this guy here, this is just my, uh, you've all heard in my other videos. I'm practicing to learn, I'm trying to learn Morse code, practicing and all that jazz. Um, I've got my radio adventure, radio adventure gear key from Sebastian in Germany. It's a great little, great little key. It's tiny, fits nice in your hand. I like it. I can't wait to use it. Key fright. That's my big issue. Not thinking I'm going to be able to do it and we're messing it up really bad. Um, yeah, and I just keep it in there. Just, I'm sure it'd be fine elsewhere, but I don't want to attempt it and break it. Um, so the next, all right. So this pack here, let's see, bring it over here into the light. This is my uh, my radio bag. I got it off eBay. I think it was like 20 bucks from China. It's uh, two layers. So my top layer. I have my antenna, which is a 49 to 1 end fed half wave, or it's a random wire, I can't remember. I think it's an end fed half wave. Um, again, made my mailing. Uh, this is a 5200 milliamp hour battery, LiPo. It's a great, great battery. I used it on three activations yesterday and it didn't die. And I was running full 20 watts on the G90. It's it's a good radio. I upgraded it with um, Anderson power poles because why not? Anderson's the way of the future for radio, or at least it should be. Uh, this is my log book. I use a uh, right in the rain, all weather tactical book. Say what you will, but it's, it's a great book. Logs go in there nice, writes nice. It's uh yeah, I'll be, I'll continue using these and I highly recommend the Right in the Rain um, books for, for logging. Um, close that up quick. Close it up after. Now, get down into the big boy, the G90. We've all seen it. It's in there. It's great radio. Everything fits in here real nice and snug. I upgraded the power wire to a, came from China. Um, it's off eBay, costs another 15, 20 bucks, but it makes the wire a lot thicker and it works great. I also, I guess I should pull this out. I'm gonna show you. With the G90, if you're in Canada, there's only one, uh, one retailer you can get the G90 from, and that's uh, DX, DXCanada.ca. Slav, he's good dude, good company, and I highly recommend you buy a G90 from him if that's what you're in the market for. As well as the G90, you see the uh, protective bars there and the uh, the desktop stand. That's what it is. Um, these are aftermarket from DX Canada as well. They are fantastic. They're super strong, much better than the, uh, the original stuff. And it's, you know, it doesn't add a whole lot more weight. It's, it's minuscule, very minuscule. And I'm not going to turn the radio on cause I mean, you've all seen the radio on in a million different other videos. It's a popular guy. Anyway, I also, uh, 
There's my gators down there. They're really dirty. Again, they're Amazon specials as well. But yeah, that is most of my gear. Again, I'm not going to open up my little first aid kit. No point. It's got batteries or it's got extra batteries in there actually as well. Um, but band-aids, triangle bandage, tensor bandage, painkillers. Um, yeah. Besides that, that's everything that goes in my bag. At the end of the day, it weighs roughly 23 and a half to 24 pounds. And that's mainly because the radio and all that stuff weighs a good chunk. Anyway, I think that's it. Yes. There's another thing. It's not mine. I forgot to give it back to Malin. But I know absolutely nothing about it. But this guy here is a uh, five foot by eight foot tarp and it weighs absolutely nothing. I'm going to look into getting me one of these because yeah, in the rain, this could be a lifesaver. I just didn't want to pull it out again. Small package. Don't like trying to <laughs> stuff stuff back into small packages. It's a pain in the butt. Anyway, that's, that's all I got guys. So that's my gear. If you got any questions, put it down in the, uh, put it down in the chat there and uh, I'll try and answer them best I can. And I'll put the links to most of the stuff in the description. Uh, anyway, yeah. Thanks for checking it out. And 7-3. This is Jesse, VE6JTW.